how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and for the first movie review of the year, I wanted to do a DC film. I wanted to do Death in the Family because next week or month, I want to do Under the Red Hood. So, I figured let's go with the prequel to that. Why not? So, um, basically, all I know about this is this is uh, based on the comic where Jason Todd is murdered by Joker literally all I really know about that. Um, I know the story about Red Hood a little bit better. However, I don't know a lot about Death in the Family. So, let's get to the trailer and check it out. We save lives every day. Strangers. And there's always enough time. failed to save Jason from this life. Joker got a hold of stolen uranium. He's selling it to terrorists. He's gonna take Batman and Robin together to close this case. You take them down while I investigate that warehouse we tracked Joker to. Please tell the big man oh, I said better. hello. I alone will become more than the dreams and nightmares they imagined for me. The Red Hood's knowledge of my tactics, my history. This was getting personal. Joker showed me the truth. Evil can't be cured, only killed. <laughs> Two-Face. Red Robin awaits a verdict. Life or death. Because of my choice, I had to avoid repeating mistakes. So I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to be an interactive movie uh, on a streaming service because uh, as you can see I'm going to be watching it on HBO Max. Uh, so I'm actually kind of excited. So I'm going to do one the one ending. Uh, or I'm not going to watch it like several times to see all the different outcomes um, unless it's already set uh, and it's one outcome. But yeah, I'm actually really excited uh so let's get into the film and i'll see you guys in an hour and a half oh i gotta say i shouldn't have said an hour and a half i should have said half an hour um i'm actually kind of disappointed at the hbo max version one there's like five different movies in it movies they're uh, little shorts uh, and Death in the Family is literally just 30 minutes of it. Uh, maybe even 20. But uh, it's basically what I assume because it looks like it reuses a bunch of footage uh, from the scenes that I saw of Under the Red Hood. Of Under the Red Hood, it looks like it just reuses that. And uh, it's just completely narrated by Batman through the whole thing. There's barely any, like, actual character dialogue uh, besides the narration. And the story literally just, like, kind of feels like it was rushed through. It feels like it's mostly a uh, summary of Under the Red Hood, so you can just be like, okay, yeah, now I know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, it didn't feel cinematic at all. It felt like a 25-minute, 30-minute trailer. Um, and... I'm honestly wishing that I could get the DVD just to be able to actually watch it because it honestly was like, there's nothing to do with Red Robin, I'll say that. And it was literally just a summary. So that kind of stinks. Um, this is short literally because there's nothing to talk about. Like, I, I don't even have a least favorite part or a favorite part because it's literally just a summary. 
Um, I thought maybe after the 20 minutes was up that it was going to do like all the different versions, but no, the next one was um, a completely different story and I sped through to see if everything else was like that, and yes it was. So for this version of Death in the Family, I actually have to give it a 1 out of 10, just because it was very misleading. I mean, there's kind of some stuff that like we saw in the trailer that was on it, but there's a bunch of stuff that was in the trailer that was not there. So who knows, maybe I'll re-review it if I buy the physical copy, but as of right now, I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling y'all, go watch a movie.